Welcome back everybody. It's Bjorn, your trusted guide to real estate here in Minnesota. Today, I'm diving into, well, a topic that's a bit outside of my usual realm, but one that I personally find absolutely fascinating, and that's color trends throughout the decades. While I'm not an interior designer, believe it or not, I have to admit that it does intrigue me how color choices kind of reflect broader cultural shifts and how they actually impact the real estate market. So let's take a closer look at how these color trends have evolved and what influences these changes. Now again, this is just what I was able to find in my kind of quick research and put something together for you, but let's start in the 50s. This was a period, the 1950s that is, this was a period marked by post-war optimism and a desire for a fresh start. So we saw a lot of pastel colors of the era. Think of the mint green and the soft pink and the sky blue and the, the, the mirrored the sense of renewal. These colors were not just about aesthetics, but they also reflected a cultural shift towards a more hopeful future. If you're staging a home with vintage vibes um, or looking at properties from this era, embrace these pastel hues because it can kind of tap into that nostalgic optimism. I think of like my grandparents' house or even my mom's house actually has some aspects of this. Now let's move into the 60s. We see a bit of a dramatic shift towards bold contrasting colors. This, as we know, is a decade of social change, rebellion, and colors like vibrant orange, avocado green, and deep purple became very popular. These colors were a reaction against the previous decade's more subdued tones. It reflected the desire for individuality and kind of self-expression. If you're dealing with a 60s inspired property, these bold colors can bring a kind of sense of dynamic energy and personality to a house, so showcase that. Then we get into the 70s and this introduced a more grounded palette with earthy tones like the burnt sienna, olive green, mustard yellow, I think you just, I just named every fridge color that I had in college. Uh, this shift was influenced by growing environmental awareness and a desire to reconnect with nature. These colors created a warm, inviting atmosphere that reflected the cultural move towards that sustainable living. If you're updating a home with a 70s feel, these earthy tones can offer a cozy and comforting vibe. And then the 80s got weird. In the 80s, we saw a resurgence of boldness and bright kind of neon colors. The era was characterized with this exuberant and extravagant style. It kind of mirrored the economic boom and rise of the consumer cultures. Neon greens, hot pinks, electric blues, we saw those. If you're staging a property from the 80s, you know, play into that flair. Make it look high energy like it is and don't shy away from these colors and remember, Remember to balance them with more neutral elements to avoid overwhelming potential buyers. The 90s brought a return to more muted tones, grays, beige, and soft earth tones. This was a decade marked by a desire for simplicity and calm amid the rising pace of technology and globalization. These colors created a sense of, well, a timeless atmosphere. For homes from this era, or those looking to appeal to a broader audience, these subdued hues can offer a sophisticated and relaxing environment. As we moved into the 2000s and beyond, color trends became more varied and personalized. From cool grays and blues to warm taupes and rich jewel tones, today's color schemes are all about individual expression and comfort. This reflects our current emphasis on personal style and diversity. When staging a home or looking to buy, exploring these diverse palettes can help you find a look that resonates with contemporary taste. Now, let's talk about what's best if you're thinking of listing your home. Well, color trends can be fun to explore. When it comes to selling, it's important to choose colors that appeal to the broadest audiences. Neutral colors like soft grays, beige, and off-whites are typically a pretty safe bet. These shades create a clean, open canvas that allows potential buyers to envision their own furniture and personal touches in the space. They also tend to make rooms kind of look larger and more inviting. 
If you do want to incorporate a bit of your personality, consider adding some accents in modern or trending colors like muted blues or earthy greens and smaller areas like accent walls or that type of thing. This approach allows you to add some character without overwhelming the buyers with bold hues. Think of it this way. We don't want anything that's too over the top because if they don't like the color, they're going to want to make it their own. We want to make it easy for them to paint over, right? Ultimately, the goal is to make your home feel welcoming and adaptable. If you're not sure where to start, consult a real estate professional or a professional stager or an interior designer, and they can provide some valuable insights tailored for your specific market. So this is somewhat of a quick tour of colors, but whether you're drawn to retro pastels or modern neutrals, understanding these color trends can give you an edge in the real estate market and at a bare minimum, it's kind of fun, right? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of these great videos. And if you really liked it, share it with a friend. And don't forget, you can head over to BjornDeSell.com to reach out to me if with any questions, or you can use the comments below to do just that. I'll be back before you know with more great real estate advice and maybe some painting tips, who knows. So until then, be kind to one another.